Okay, what is happening Cucumber Squad and welcome back to the Fables. Fear Rock, we have a new artist to the channel and apparently the nickname of this artist is called Los Redondos, which is an Argentinian band, I'm assuming. Uh, that's what I've been told. And apparently that's their nickname. I'm not entirely sure what the artist's names are of the actual band, but uh, they wanted me to react to this particular, I think it's a concert. It's a 2008 concert. Um, and I think it's called GGG. I think GGG might mean laughter. I'm not sure. You guys let me know. Also, Los Redondos in Portuguese, Redondo means round. So Los Redondos, does it mean that they called the rounds? Is that because Latin's pretty similar, Portuguese, Spanish, quite close. You let me know down below if that's uh, correct. Anyway, they're performing it in the uh, Estadio Unica. Unica. I'm speaking Portuguese. Estadio Unico de la Plata. Now, uh, in, actually in Argentina, it's Unico de la Plata. But in Portuguese, it's like, you know, because we, everything has to sound like a... Uh, uh, you know what I mean? It's a Estadio de la Plata, okay? Plata, I think, means money, and I think it's a city in Argentina, if I'm not mistaken. I think, I think it's in Buenos Aires. I'm not entirely sure. Uh, I think it's actually a city in Buenos Aires. I'm not entirely sure. I just know that because I actually have a friend that lives close by um, in Palermo, and I hope I'm not going to kick myself. I think that might be close from when I last spoke to him. It might be on the other side of him, Dina, and I'm just talking shit over here. Anyway, let's get straight into it. Apparently, it's a rock band, man, from Argentina. So, let's los redondos. G -g -g. Let's, uh, let's take it away, man. Let's see what we got. <laughs> Yo, this dude, this dude's old, man. Like, he's getting on in age over here. Wait a second. Let me just put on some subtitles over here. Uh, okay, we only have Spanish for some odd reason. I'm not entirely sure. It's fine. I'll pull up some lyrics just now. Um, but firstly, take a look at this crowd. This crowd is absolutely insane. Secondly, the this must be... I mean, this this guy this guy is pretty old, man. Like, this must be sort of towards the end or something. But oh my god, look at this crowd! Though, not surprising though, because Argentinians. I will start this from the beginning. Argentinians are much like Mediterraneans. They live for four things essentially. They live for family, food, football, and music. It's about it. That's about all we live for, right? Portuguese, Spanish, Italian, Argentinian, Brazilian, right? Those are the four things we live for: family, football. Uh, music and uh, 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 um, food, right? And some of those things can be interchangeable except for family. So not surprising at all that uh, this is the kind of crowd we get for this sort of thing. Hey. Yes, they're going mad. Hey. Hey, el muy verdugo se ha distinguido. Una noche de cristal que se hace amigo. No lo soñé. Se me hizo un brillo a tu suerte. This crowd is going tilt, man. This crowd is going tilt. The, the, I mean, these guys must be unbelievably famous. Also, they've got a bit of an ACDC sound to them. Like, you know that pure old school rock? They've got that kind of sound straight off the bat. And also with that Spanish language. Spanish is such a fluid language. You know, it's just, it just it's like silk off the tongue. It's like Portuguese. Portuguese is just, except Brazil. Like Brazilian, it's still, you know, Brazilian smooth, you know. Portuguese from mainland Portugal. Uh, eu vou pra praia. 
puta. You know what I mean? It's just like, it's so rough. You know what I mean? Spanish is just so smooth. Let's go. This is a fad. She said they delivery though, eh? Hey! 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 Esos chicos son como bombas pequeñitas. El peor camino a la cueva del perico. Do you know what I love about Spanish artists? Is that when they actually deliver songs like this, the way they deliver it, firstly, it comes across with so much emotion. Secondly, they deliver it in a storytelling fashion, right? So it's almost poetic to a certain degree. Speaking of poetic, let's just quickly pull up lyrics. Give me two seconds. Two seconds later. Okay, so basically, the lyrics over here, like I said, very poetic, very storytelling over here. This, I've just read the lyrics a little bit over here, and I'll just read part of it because I obviously don't want to take too much of the reaction in terms of... Uh, uh, um, uh, lyrics, but it's good to understand what the actual song is about. So I'll just read a, bit, a quick part of it. In this uh, uh, film, veiled in white, uh, white night, the tenacious son of your enemy, the very execution of a distinguished dinner, a crystal night that shatters. I didn't dream it. It straightened up and it toasted to your like I didn't dream it. Uh, and he offered himself better than ever. Don't look, please, and don't turn on the lights, and the image disfigured you out. Now, he makes reference to the disfigured image a few times, and the way he's kind of portraying this song, it's almost like it's a, it's, it's, either, it's either trying to to say that, I don't know, you guys are going to have to let me know down in the comments, but it's either trying to say that he's he's actually taking like, the sequence of life and he's playing it out as a movie or he's taking the sequence of a relationship and playing it out as a movie right and he prefers to live in the dream because that's a bit more peaceful because he refers to the fact that don't turn on the light because it, it, it you know the, the image disfigures so don't look please don't please don't turn on the light the image disfigures you so it almost feels like it's a relationship as well where it's like i don't or something tragic has happened and he doesn't want to face the reality of that. So it's like, please, I'd rather be blind to this. Don't turn it on. I'd rather remember this for what it was. I'm not entirely sure. So just reading these lyrics, it's kind of like he's playing this out into like sequences of a movie and his other relationship or life. And it's something to do. There, there is definitely an underlying tragedy to this, all these lyrics. But you guys can give me more details in the uh, comments, in the comment section. Again, just delivering it storytelling fashion. I love that. I love that. Let's go. Hey, I love a little shuffle. Hey. Oh, that electric guitar. It's mad what's going on there. That's where he actually uh, says, please don't turn on the light because the image disfigures you. Right? I think that's because you can, you can hear that where it says... Uh, um, um, the way the way he said, "Don't turn on the light." La lo, la los, la loge, right? Portuguese loge, la loge, and then disfiguroso. I think that's where he says the image disfigures you. Hey, the crowd is going nuts for this dude. Like a mosh pit. Swag! Hey! Woo! There we go! Woo! The saxophone! 
Jones, bro. Come on, this is Latino to the tilt, bro. This is Latin vibes. I mean, come on. If you're Mediterranean or you Latin in any which way, man, that type of sound is going to get you moving, man. It's such a festive sound. Hey, 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 hey. A little shoulder bump. Hey. Woo. Man, this looks like a flipping jam. These people are loving this. Hey. I swear to God, they've got an ACDC sound. The instrumentation over here, the arrangement of the instrumentation is like it's very reminiscent of ACDC. Tell me if I'm just tripping over here or is it just me? It's got a very much like an ACDC type sound. Hey, that dude can move though, even for his age. So no slouch though, hey? This is a vibe. And their support, I mean the support that they have is absolutely insane. But that's that's to be expected. Argentinians are very, very passionate people, specifically when it comes to uh, music, specifically when it comes to football, and obviously they're footballers like Messi, who's an absolute god. Um but you know how it is, man. They no slouch when it comes to supporting their people, man. That's why. They're very successful in many things. Four-time World Cup champions. You know what I mean? You don't fuck around like that, man. Four times World Cup champions. Maybe, maybe Portugal will get one one day. One day. One day. You know what I mean? Not with Ronaldo, unfortunately. Messi deserves one, though. Messi needs one, too. Hey, hey, hey. Okay, I just googled it. Argentina's got two World Cup titles. St still no slouch. Still no slouch. I was, I was um, um, getting them confused with Italy, who's got four, and Germany, who's got four. Uh, Brazil's the only one with five. But two, I mean, don't fuck around. Portugal's still got none, so I'll... Shh. <laughs> one with Maradona, but now Messi is a... Fire. Yo, man, that was unbelievably entertaining, man. Unbelievable. You can see the passion through the air. You can see these people absolutely go tilt for this artist. I'm happy to do more of him. Send him my way, man. This was unbelievably awesome, man. And always, when it comes to the Latino stuff, when it comes to the Mediterranean stuff, when it comes to, you know, the Latin stuff, right? 
it's my neck of the woods man it's my neck of the woods and i absolutely love this so you guys let me know let me know if i was right about the lyrics as well let me know what you think about this uh, concert and everything else and uh, i love you all man please stay safe please stay healthy i'll catch you on the next one peace